Very soon we may hear breaking news about solid state electric vehicle battery industry as we learned this couple of days that QuantumScape has shipped updated prototype of solid state battery to a prospective electric vehicle maker. A commercial product has been sent to a car maker as prospect for prospective launch. That was from the press release that QuantumScape released a couple of days ago when announcing a new president. So what's the news? The US American solid state battery specialist QuantumScape has revealed it is already quote unquote working closely with a potential launch customer, that means an automaker, from the automotive industry industry for its planned first commercial product. The company has also revealed more about its solid state battery cell. Let me explain this in simple, no nonsense terms. QuantumScape apparently already has solid state battery for an electric vehicle. It has sent them to car makers and one of them apparently has responded although QuantumScape is supported by Volkswagen I don't think it may be the Volkswagen or it may be I don't know if you have heard, heard anything about who may be working with QuantumScape to try uh, solid state battery in its vehicle please let me know we know that couple of uh, a week or so ago Toyota announced that it is also working on its solid state working battery and will have a vehicle in a couple of years I think it's 2025 with 745 miles of range or something like that but this is something that is happening now so in a letter to investors QuantumScape who is already partnered with Volkswagen like I said revealed that it is it has found a launch customer that means car maker who is willing to launch an electric vehicle with QuantumScape solid state battery although it is not yet clear whether this is Volkswagen in late 2022, QuantumScape shipped the first prototype of its 24-layer solid-state battery cells to automakers for testing, including Volkswagen. Now, the battery maker has garnered a collaboration with a potential launch automotive partner, but has not disclosed who this is and whether it will be German car-making giant, one of its subsidiaries, or another company altogether. I don't think it will be Toyota because Toyota is already working on its own solid state batteries from what I know. The company QuantumScape said in its latest quarterly report that the goal collaborating with the unnamed launch customer is to bring the technology to the electric vehicle market quick on quote unquote as quickly as possible. This means QuantumScape is working, working with a car maker to bring to market as quickly as possible electric vehicle with solid state battery. QuantumScape believes that its technology that enables longer range, higher power and faster charging will allow automotive uh, OEMs quote, gain the ability to better differentiate their electric vehicle offerings, as it said in the letter to investors. According to QuantumScape, the first commercial product, that means the first commercial uh, vehicle, will be a battery cell with the designated QuantumScape EQSE5 and a charger capacity of around 5 AH. This is said to offer an energy density of 800 uh, WH per L, I don't know what that means, and can be charged from 10 to 80% in about 15 minutes. So 15 minutes, you charge approximately 80% of your vehicle. This is exciting. What do you think, friends? Let me know your thoughts. Would you be interested to see an electric vehicle with solid state battery and have that long range that Toyota has promised? And when will QuantumScape come with an electric vehicle with solid state battery with its automotive partner? Who that partner will be? Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. In the meantime, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Excited to bring this news to you. And please support our channel with super thanks or buying a product from our product. It I would greatly appreciate it as ad revenues are not always enough to support our work. God bless you, everyone. And I'll see you soon in Good morning, next everyone. Report. Tesla blogger on Twitter. Gregor Truck has a new video that shows a beautiful cyber truck walk around a Tesla Gigafactory, Texas. This was actually done... Uh, 
uh, yesterday and as you're seeing this is the release candidate walk around at Giga Texas while you're watching this video and seeing this walk around I want to show you something very important that Monroe and Associates said about Cybertruck experts from Monroe and Associates state reasons why the Tesla Cybertruck could weigh less than Rivian R1T Hummer EV and their teardown expert show that means Tesla Cybertruck is going to be lighter and hopefully have a much better range when the official numbers come so in a new Monroe live episode teardown specialist Sandy Monroe and Corey Steuben speculate about the Tesla Cybertruck based on factory images spy shot shots and their prior experience with Model 3 and Model Y teardowns one of their predictions is that the Tesla Cybertruck electric pickup truck might weigh less than the Riven R1T and um, uh, General Motors Hammer EV. The experts reason that the Cybertruck's multiple Giga castings, including a single piece front underbody Giga casting and two Giga castings in the side and the rear, could save more weight compared to the other electric trucks that I just mentioned. The Tesla appears to have a unibody construction, while the Hammer, I mean the Cybertruck, appears to have a unibody construction, while the Hammer and Rivian have a ladder frame chassis, which generally weigh more. You have no frame, no mating interfaces you also have an efficient structural battery pack set Steuben in that video I will have the link in the, of the video in the uh, description of this video friends as well as the uh, re reference to this video that you're watching the cyber truck could weigh no less than 6,000 pounds for tax purposes. He added the R1T from Rivian has a gross vehicle weight rating of 8,532 pounds, while the Hummer reportedly tips scales at over 9,000 pounds. They say that the Tesla could be comparatively lighter than these other electric pickup trucks. To classify as a light duty truck, a vehicle um, has to be more than 6,001 pounds, but not exceed 10,000 pounds as per the Federal Highway Administration. Although EPS classifications differ and categorize the Rivian as a heavy duty truck. Another prediction is of Cybertruck's incredible structural strength. The front crush structure, including the A and B pillars, appear remarkably stiff and are possibly made from boron steel at hot stampede steel, said Monroe. Honestly, I don't know what boron steel is and hot stampede steel is, but I assume they are very durable materials, uh, durable type of steel, of course. In other words, Tesla could use ultra high strength steel in critical areas to comply with safety regulations. The two experts made the analysis based on the picture uh, that you have been seeing the body in black which is the structure beneath the skin this thing the a and p pillars i have a report about a and b pillars in the past from uh, in this talk news youtube channel friends you can check that out so this thing the a and b pillars is going to be bulletproof there is no way that anybody is going to crash and have an issue predicted Monroe. so what do you think about this walk around and the way of the cyber truck let me know your thoughts friends in the comment section below let's talk about this and let me know if you have heard anything from tesla about about your cyber truck order if you have pre-ordered one this is armin harayan god bless you everyone please subscribe to this channel for more news ring the bell and continue this participating in discussions and if you would like please support us sending us super thanks and uh, it or buying products from my product list god bless you and see you soon in our next report